Tucker Carlson and Jack Posobiec discuss recent events surrounding Joe Biden's withdrawal from the 2024 presidential race and the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. They speculate that Biden's withdrawal may be connected to the failed attempt on Trump's life. Posobiec describes receiving calls about Biden dropping out, similar to how he received calls about Trump being shot. He notes the suspicious nature of Biden's withdrawal letter, which had a different signature and didn't cite specific reasons or endorse Kamala Harris. They discuss the lack of public appearances or statements from Biden since his last event in Las Vegas, where he was diagnosed with COVID-19. The conversation touches on rumors and reports about Biden's health and whereabouts. Posobiec mentions Biden's brother Frank telling CBS that he'd be glad to be with Joe for whatever time he has left, which the Biden family later dismissed. He also shares information from a White House official about Biden asking questions related to dementia and losing cognitive function. Carlson and Posobiec express concern about the lack of transparency and communication from the Biden administration during ongoing wars and potential conflicts. They compare the situation to historical examples of leadership transitions in other countries, such as Khrushchev's removal in the Soviet Union. The discussion shifts to the details of the assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Posobiec presents information from a preliminary report by Senator Ron Johnson's office. He notes that the Secret Service did not attend a security briefing for local law enforcement on the morning of the event. The alleged shooter, Thomas Matthew Crooks, purchased a ladder and was observed by snipers near the event location. Posobiec describes the timeline of events, including Crooks' movements and the observations made by local law enforcement. He highlights the lack of communication between different security agencies and the failure to relay crucial information to Trump's team. The conversation touches on the sophistication of the attack, including Crook's use of a drone, rangefinder, and other equipment. Carlson and Posobiec express skepticism about the official narrative, questioning how a 20-year-old with limited experience could carry out such a complex operation. They discuss the shot itself, with Carlson arguing that hitting Trump in the face from 140 yards with iron sights is a significant feat. The conversation raises questions about the Secret Service's actions, particularly why the counter-sniper team didn't engage Crooks before he fired at Trump. Posobiec suggests there may have been confusion due to poor communication between agencies. Carlson and Posobiec discuss the potential political implications of these events. They speculate about what might have happened if the assassination attempt had been successful including the possibility of civil unrest or a contested succession between Nikki Haley and Donald Trump Jr. The conversation touches on the role of figures like Nikki Haley and Mike Pompeo in the Republican Party, with Carlson expressing concern about keeping such individuals in positions of influence. They discuss the recent Republican National Convention and the decision to include Haley as a speaker. Posobiec shares information about attempts to influence Trump's choice of running mate, with some factions pushing for Marco Rubio over J.D. Vance. Carlson describes witnessing intense lobbying efforts against Vance's selection. The discussion shifts to Posobiec's book on communist revolutions, titled On Humans. Posobiec outlines some hallmarks of communist revolutions, including mass grievance outpourings, ideological inconsistency, and attacks on existing power structures in Christianity. They draw parallels between historical revolutions and current events in the United States, discussing how tactics have evolved to divide society along racial and ethnic lines rather than purely economic ones. Posobiec argues that the ultimate goal of these movements is often the overthrow of existing systems rather than addressing specific grievances. Carlson and Posobiec discuss the consistent pattern of increased human suffering following revolutions, despite promises of utopia. They touch on the role of supernatural forces and demonic influences in driving these movements, referencing historical examples such as the Spanish Civil War and the Russian Revolution. The conversation concludes with Posobiec emphasizing the importance of recognizing these patterns and taking action at local levels to resist ideological infiltration of institutions like libraries and parks and recreation departments. Near the end of the podcast, 
Carlson reads breaking news from Charlie Kirk about a potential medical emergency involving Joe Biden in Las Vegas. The report suggests that there may be more to Biden's recent absence than officially stated. Carlson and Posobiec express frustration with the lack of transparency and accountability surrounding recent events. They argue that the assassination attempt on Trump and the handling of Biden's withdrawal represent a significant shift in American politics, with traditional democratic norms being disregarded. 